I was just looking at this picture I drew the other night of um, the Sgt. Pepper album cover. And, I mean, you can tell what it is, right? It's not like this, what is that? It's something that needs more work, but I think for something that only took about a half hour to draw, it's kind of colorful and reminds me of Sgt. Pepper at least. Anyway, I need to work on that. I'm just only getting back to getting into art, which was kind of one of my first dreams as a kid. So I made that artwork to go along with the video series that I'm making about Sgt. Pepper. I've decided to create several segments about my concept video, which is that Sgt. Pepper is a concept album. Anyway, it's kind of funny to get into it this deeply. I've never really um, tried to put together a video series before other than Quad Zap. Now, Quad Zap's like my own kind of show, freeform radio show I do. It's more of a freeform video show, but I play my own songs in it. And uh, it's kind of like songs inspired by the Beatles, but more the spirit of the Beatles. Like, my music doesn't sound like the Beatles. Anyway, I really, I'm just using Sgt. Pepper to promote my album. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I mean, just a little bit. Um, I want to uh, talk about Theater of the Mind this time. Because that is what Sgt. Pepper is really all about. And theater of the mind is kind of like a phrase used in the radio biz by those who get to program or get to create their own shows, which is getting rarer and rarer in 2017, to the point where I don't even bother listening to a lot of that anymore. Uh, but the, the concept of um, a concept album <laughs> is unique in itself. And um, I think theater of the mind is simply defined as creativity. You know, just something that paints pictures in your mind. So it's kind of what artists tap into and what um, the radio biz used to tap into until it got super corporate. But as far as we're talking about Theater of the Mind, uh, the album cover gives it away that it was Theater of the Mind. Uh, that, you know, you're kind of like viewing something and hearing the soundtrack of it as if you were in an imaginary movie theater. That's kind of what Theater of the Mind is. So Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was an imaginary band you have to use the theater of your mind to put yourself into that state of disbelief, whatever it's called, the momentary reason of disbelief. I forget what it is. Momentary lapse of... Never mind. <laughs> Let's just get back to the topic of theater of the mind. Why is theater of the mind so important? Well, it basically allows your mind to explore and, above all, escape. Yes, Sgt. Pepper is the ultimate escapist album. And you just go through the songs, like Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, even if that weren't about drugs, and I don't think it was, but I think it still mirrors a drug-induced experience of... Uh, higher awareness, higher perception, and uh, that's why it still works, because a lot of Beatles music had double meaning anyway, sometimes multiple meanings. In fact, all the time, multiple meanings. They seem to understand how to free words from their meanings. And it goes back to what I learned in college in my communications major, that meanings are in minds, not in words. However, what happens is people assign their own meanings to words. We each do that individually. So that's how so many different interpretations arise from the Sgt. Pepper album. 
because that theater of the mind experience just puts us on that path to escape to where we're looking for our own meaning and we're searching to find what it means to us personally. So that's why I love Sergeant Pepper as a theater of the mind experience. I mean, being for the benefit of Mr. Kai, think of what that is as a circus is what it is. It was a real circus, apparently, based on what John Lennon said, that he got all that song lyric information from a poster from the 1800s, a, a circus poster, kind of like a flyer to get people to come to the circus. Uh, so that took imagination. It wasn't just stealing a concept or whatever. It was actually adapting something from the real world mixed with a, the dream world and turned into a song, which became a whole new experience. Um, a Day in the Life, that takes us to this upper level of awareness that is somewhere in the clouds of imagination. It's definitely something that makes us dream. And the, the lyric, I mean, it even talks about a dream. It's like a dream, dream within a dream. And the part about I'd love to turn you on is just kind of like turning you on to a play or something at a theater, a movie, a performance. It could be a band. It could be turning you on to anything. Just something exciting that you want to indulge in. And again, that's escape. Escapism is what Sgt. Pepper really embraces, like a hedonistic escape. But then again, there are trillions of other different interpretations of what the album is. I'm just giving you one of those snapshots. The theater of the mind takes us to higher levels of consciousness that is like a drug experience, except that it doesn't have to be. In other words, it's our imaginations allow us to travel to different spaces and places. So let's not forget that, how powerful the mind is.